Hey guys, what's up? I'm back again. And this time I am doing my February favorites because it's the beginning of March. And I've been trying out a lot of new products um, this February, this past February, and into March. And I just wanted to share some of the favorites that I've actually found when um, just trying new things. My first favorite would be this coconut hibiscus by Shea Moisture. It's with silk protein and neem oil, thick curly hair, anti-frizz, moisture and shine. It has no sulfates, no gluten, a whole bunch of other stuff that it doesn't have. And um, the ingredients seem pretty cool. And it's actually been working a lot better for my hair when I say like wash and go wise. Like my hair stays better and the shine and everything, it works really well with um, my Eco Style Gel. Which is also one of my favorites that I use all the time for a wash and go. But um, yeah, this is about $11. Oh no, this one I think is $13.99 in um, any kind of drugstore, uh, Walgreens, CVS, anything like that. This is about $13, $14. So it actually was a good investment because I really didn't want to try it. But um, I'm glad I did because this really, really actually works and I love it and it smells amazing to me. Like, it smells great. Um, the second product that I wanted to talk about was something that I only tried the uh, little version to because I heard about, hear about it all the time on YouTube. And I bought the smaller version of it and it's the Macadamia um, Healing Oil Treatment. It's the smaller one because I wanted to just make sure that I liked it before I fully invested in like the bigger one because they can be really, really pricey. I actually think the bigger one's like $32, which is crazy. But I hear it lasts a long time. And this oil works wonders. Like, it's amazing. It always makes my hair shiny and it stays moisturized no matter how long I go without touching it. As long as I put this in the day that I need it. Like the day I like put a bun or a ponytail in or something. If I put this in there, like I'm good for like two days. As long as I'm like brushing and you know like putting water on my hair every day. It pretty much stays, which I love this so much. So I definitely will invest in the bigger of the macadamia. But this is the one that I tried first. My third product is from Simple. And I love Simple skin, um, Skincare anyway. But I recently tried the Simple Sensitive Skin Experts. Um, it's a new. It's the Radiance Cleansing Wipes. It has three skin loving ingredients. It looks like this. Um, I love this so much. Um, Simple has always been really good for my skin in general, which I probably should do like a skincare routine or a skincare products um, video. But Simple has always been really good for my skin because like too many harsh chemicals isn't that good for me. And I've tried a lot of things to really help my skin clear up. And um, Simple has definitely been the best, whether it's the wipes or um, the actual scrubs and stuff that they have. So I actually love Simple so much, but this is like my favorite right now. I use it like every morning. And sometimes I use like their exfoliating wipes or just the regular green ones. But I love Simple. And the next one is also from Simple. And it's the Sensitive Skin Experts for replenishing Rich Moisture. Alright, um, the wipes I think are about 4 or $5. Depends where you get it from. Like Kmart, I think I got those from. And it was like 4 or $3. I'm not sure. Something like that. With the Sensitive Skin Replenishing Rich Moisturizer. I actually um, tried this because my skin kind of gets dry sometimes when I use um, pretty much anything on my face. <laughs> it gets dry sometimes, but I have really oily skin anyway. But um, the, this moisturizer is really good because it doesn't give it too much moisture and it like kind of balances out my oily skin with the extra product. So I love it and it's a 12 hour moisture and I put it on sometimes in the morning and then sometimes at night. It like matters how my skin feels that day, so I don't put it on too much. And I believe this is maybe like ten, eleven dollars, but I think it's a good investment too. I've had it for like a couple months now, and it's still pretty full. So my next one is something I just recently tried, and it is from Ambi, the skincare fade cream fades dark spots for even natural skin tone. And I got the one for oily skin because I have oily skin. And I have like spots on my face. I know like you can't really tell all the time, but I have like spots on my face. And they were a lot darker before I started using this. And it's kind of like bouncing on my skin now. Which I'm really happy with because now I'm getting kind of like better skin. And 
my only concern was really like my dark marks. So this fade cream really, really has been helping me a lot. Along with face cream, my other favorites would be the Ambi Cocoa Butter Cleansing Bar. It looks like this. And I love this too so much. And I use them kind of both together along with my simple um, moisturizer because they really do help my skin. And I, like, sometimes it feels really dry after, and that's usually when I put the simple on. But like it does help with the evening out my skin tone. Like no matter what, it definitely evens out my skin tone. So I definitely am absolutely in love with these um, Ambi products, and I definitely probably will be buying some more. And my last product that I wanted to talk about was the Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask from Neutrogena. And I use this as deep conditioner. This thing is like as you can tell, used up. It smells so good. Um. I use this as my um, deep conditioner now. I usually stick with like herbal essence, but I'm trying to branch out to like learn new products and everything for everybody. And I really have fell in love with this trouble moisture. It really does help my hair. Um, you only put it in for like five minutes after the shower or anything, but I mean you can go longer and it doesn't really affect the way your hair turns out, which I love about it. It also just keeps my hair really deep conditioned and I can keep it in and like put heat on it or something and it actually makes my hair a lot softer when it comes out of the shower and stuff. So I really do recommend uh, Triple Moisture from Neutrogena. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the video. Those are all the products that I have. Probably have more because I've been buying a lot more stuff that I'm trying out. So I'll have, probably have another video for you in March. One of my March favorites I should say. So that would be in April. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and like. And request any videos because I really, you know, I have a lot of ideas. But I want to know what you guys want to actually watch. So thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.